Hi guys, I'm James Harvey and I run James Harvey Photography and what I thought I would do is um, try and help you all in the search of um, selecting a photographer. You've got to book me. No, that's not true. Um, it's pretty difficult, you know, if I put myself in your shoes, um, you've probably got about a year out from the wedding um, and you know that you probably want a photographer so that you can um, collect all the special moments of the day. In fact, in the end, you know what, your wedding photos are probably the one thing that you've got to remember your wedding by. You'll probably forget about the, um, uh, the celebrant, like I said, it's the celebrant, you'll probably forget about your hair and makeup artist, all those other little things. But at the end of the day, those photos are what you've got to recall that special day between yourself and your partner. So really, it's probably worth investing a bit of time, and I hate to say it, bit of money, bit of bling, if you like, um, in picking the right photographer that's good for you. So what I thought we would do is talk about you know, kind of what I see as the top 10, top 10 things to look at, top tips if you like, uh, for you in the process of selecting a photographer. But before we go into that, there's probably the three major things that I think are really important. Um, is one, you've got to make sure that you have rapport with the photographer. That's so important. You guys have got to connect because after all, on your wedding day, it's really fast paced, it's nerve wracking, it's probably just going to go straight over your head and it won't be until you get your wedding images that you think, oh yeah, remember that and, and so forth. Um, so, you know, there's things like that to consider. So, yeah, you've got to have rapport. Um, sure, price is an important, important uh, component and that's usually what people do when they first come to you, they'll say, hey, can you tell me your packages, can you tell me your prices? And then if you are sent your packages and prices, you're probably going to sit there and go, oh, well, this person does eight hours, this person does six hours, this person has two photographers, this person gives me all images, well, giving you all images may be giving you all images not edited. Then this person here gives you 500 images. So you think, well, where do we start? Um, I know when I started as a photographer, I obviously, like the rest of other photographers, I, I would compare um, uh, different packages between photographers to see you know, what they're doing and what, what I should be including, whether I should be including a mock cutting of the cake and the, these funny terms. Anyway, so we talked about price, that is important. You might say to yourself, all right, well, I need to, um, I need to pay between you know, um, two and a half to four grand or something like that um, for your photographer. Um, and also, make sure that you get as part of the package what you guys see is important. So whether you want your photos digitally, um, whether you want an online gallery, um, whether you want to have a wedding album, um, all these sorts of things to consider. So when I sit and meet with clients, um, <clears throat> I take quite a long time in going through the process of stepping them through the timings of the day, but also because um, it's a whole learning curve. So going through all the bits and pieces and components and you know, giving them things to think about. Anyway, so let's get back to these 10 tips. So I've sort of given you, um, I guess, three, so we might even give you 13 tips. There you go, you've got a bonus. Um, you want to select a photographer who knows the wedding venue. You don't want someone rocking up that has to sort of fumble and, and, and fill their toes and they're not, they're not comfortable with the, um, with the organisers of the venue. They don't know the best spots to shoot. Um, so I think it's important to find your photographer who's been to the venue before and feels comfortable and can take you to the best best spots. And even if they can show you photos from a wedding that they've you know done at that venue, I think that's important. So that's one thing to consider. Secondly, um, you want a photographer, guys, who can take you to the best photo locations. Now if I'm a photographer, let's say in, um, I'm in Hobart and then I get flown up to Melbourne to shoot a wedding and I've never shot a wedding here, well, Am I really going to know the best photo locations if I'm in, let's say, if I'm in the CBD? I'm probably going to go to Flinders Street Station. I'm probably going to go down to the, just the normal beach down there. Um, so, for instance, when we look at um, shooting a wedding on the Mornington Peninsula, which is probably about 60% of my work, but I also work all, all over Melbourne and um, we occasionally shoot interstate and have shot overseas before. We, um, with these, um, the different locations, is if you've got someone that feels comfortable and has shot in those locations, they're going to know the best places to take you to. Um, they're going to know the best beaches, the best little nooks and crannies, and they can, in the end, give you the best, 
you know, opportunity and having really nice photos. Um, you also want to select a photographer who the venue um, recommends. Some venues will um, have a list of photographers, that's really helpful um, because that gives you unbiased opinion that the venue is confident with that particular photographer um, and they know the photographer is you know, comfortable with photographing that, at that venue. Um, fourthly, uh, yes, connection. You guys really need to make sure that, hey, I feel pretty comfortable with this guy or this girl. Um, I think they know what they're about. They're on the same, same level as us um, because different photographers vary in their style of work. The style of work I like to do is more natural, more relaxed. So that when you look back at your images, you can really see that real emotion um, come out in the images. And I also love fine art um, work. I love showing off a beautiful landscape and incorporating the couple into that. So that in, at the end of the day, you've got a photo up on your wall or in your album or wherever it might be that's, that you guys can be proud of. That's, that's almost like a little yeah, piece of art, if you like. Um, Okay, well, I sort of side swipe there. No, okay. So you've got to have um, you've got to have the communication going. You've got to feel comfortable together, and you've got to be both on the same page. Um, our fifth point: online photo gallery. I think an online photo gallery. Everything's digital nowadays, isn't it? I mean, we pick up our phone. We're on Instagram. It's bang there. You want it now. So what we um, have developed is an online gallery where. Um, your mobile phone, mine's over there, but usually it's in, in my pocket um, because I thought I'd better get a bit professional, a bit naughty, I've still got jeans on, but anyway. Um, so an online gallery is great, you can have your photos, I hate the terminology, but 24-7, so the images are with, with you all the time. They don't need to be high resolution in that format, but they're, they're just there, you can have them anywhere in the world. So I think that's a real big bonus selling point. Um, okay, moving on to... Point six. Now this is probably one of the most highest considerations I consider um, is you want to make sure that your photographer is accredited. Accredited? Now what does that mean? Have they gone and done an eight year course or, or what have you? Um, you've probably heard of the Australian, well you may not have actually, the Australian Institute of Professional Photographers is a governing body within Australia um, that um, professional photographers are a part of and to be a part of that there is on, ongoing education um, and you have, as a photographer myself I have to be committed to um, in, in improving myself um, do, does the photographer enter photography awards I think that if you've got someone that's entering awards they are trying to better themselves rather than just sit back and, and take a, a back seat so that's very important it also gives you um, a, uh, more confidence too that hey this person's professional they're not just someone that just picks up a camera on the weekend and away we go we're, we're a wedding photographer um, you want someone that's you know that I mean this wedding of yours guys it's, it's not going to happen again um, it's a one-off event so it really is worthwhile doing it properly okay um, aha number seven sign contract oh my goodness contracts Ooh. Well, look, a contract, um, I know it's all nice, fine print, but it's a good idea because it helps you understand where you stand as a consumer um, and also the photographer um, can understand what, what, what his or her obligations are. Um, things like copyright, uh, which is you know, to do with use of images, things like deposits um, and, and planning and all those little things, they need to be, um, they need to be you know, formalised so both parties know what's going on. Um, aha, meeting the actual photographer. I think it's really important to make sure that you meet your photographer. Um, you'll find uh, some of us as photographers will have um, a body of uh, photographers that work together. I do and I always try and make it um, paramount that the client can meet the photographer. Um, that's really important. I mean, we offer a uh, pre-wedding shoot, which is probably another one of my points. Oh yes, that's the next one. Um, then a pre-wedding shoot where they actually meet the photographer um, and can feel comfortable and so forth. Um, so it's very important to make sure you meet the photographer. Okay, uh, we did sort of touch on the pre-wedding shoot. The pre-wedding shoot's a good idea because it gives you a time where um, we just do an easy going pre-wedding shoot, not every customer wants to do it but it's there if you'd like to do it. Um, there's some really good spots around where I am on the Mornington Peninsula, 
Uh, it's one particular spot that I take my clients to that I love, and they love it as well. It's really natural, really relaxed. But it gives time for me to um, see how that customer works. They get to know me a little bit better. I get to remember the client on the wedding day. Shouldn't do that. Um, just joking, guys. Um, and you can often use some of those images or, or what have you for your um, uh, your wedding invitations. Or I've even had clients um, blow up a print and they sign the outside of the print um, for on the wedding day or their guest side, which is kind of a nice thing as well. And that's really funny too because often I'll, I'll get to the bride's home and I'll see this photo. I think, oh, that's a pretty cool photo because I'm always looking at the images. Um, and bang, and it's the photo that we took, you know, six or eight months um, earlier on. I find too the pre-wedding shoots they're good to do around November because um, the spot I go to there's really like nice long grass and I can get some really earthy shots um, of the couple. I love using a really long zoom lens as well because that means one, I'm not in your face. Two, um, I can really get shallow depth of field, which has probably gone over over our heads a little bit. Shallow depth of field, guys, is blurred out background, so the focus is just on the couple. Getting on to our other points. Um, the, well, the last point, payment plans. Yes, you've got to pay for this fantastic service that we offer. Um, are there payment plans, or do you have to pay 100% up front? Do you pay a 25% deposit, that sort of thing? Um, these are the sorts of things that need to be you know, worked out between the, let's say the two of you, but the three of you. Um, and um, I usually do instalments, it makes it easier for the client and also as a business it, it, it um, helps with cash flow. So that brings me to the end of my top 10 wedding tips. Look, there are lots of other tips out there, but you know, when I sat back and thought about things as running a photography business for the last 17 years, 16, 17 years, I thought, well, let's put together some pointers here that can really help um, our clients. So I hope that helped you. I'd better hold up here my website in case you um, don't know what it is. That's it there. Um, that's h-a-r-v-i-e photography.com.au. Um, so if you've got any questions or want to make an appointment or ask me anything, go to that website and um, I'm more than happy to help you. All right, I hope that helps you guys in your decision making of um, getting married and congratulations.